Yo, Maverick is here. Yes, I installed Kyoto for more than a year. In this vid, I'm gonna uncover all the secrets to learn playing Yoru like a god. Let's go straight into it. Playing Yoru is a mental war against community. Everyone is going to hate you, everyone is going to expect from you to make big plays, carry games solo. But it's getting better and better with all of these uh, Yoru buffs. People went from being toxic to Yoru players to just being toxic. <laughs> I'll take that. Fundamentals are key to be consistent. It's an FPS game, you need to know how to aim, play around the map, read enemy plays. You need to be confident in your mechanics, so in game you think about game and not aim. This leads to another part. Get your your util down. Flash and flash TP to the point you can feel the timing no matter the distance and situation. You should know how to move around the map in your world so you don't waste time. Play clone to the point you realize it's not worth it. Same as mechanics, you should not think how your abilities work in game. Do it to the point you do it without thinking. Abuse Yoru Flash. Yoru Flash is the most consistent thing in his kit. Learn how to pop flash, have some one ways, have it, use it, prioritize buying it. If we get 1k likes on this wit, I'll make a wit about every single way of using Yoru Flash. Delay ult flash included. Pokchamp. Focus after TP. When you do flash TPs, you obviously can't just die for info. You need to be fully focused, so if you see two or more people, you don't panic and start randomly spraying. Before the TP, you should know where you're gonna look, flash and pre-aim common spots. Having confidence in aim, good spray transfer helps a lot. Be efficient in your ult. Most of the time you should use your ult for info on takes, retakes. Call every position you see, call your flashes, don't spam pings and get stuck on one enemy trying to flash him like 10 times. With your ult you need to make clear picture of sight by checking every position. Learn shoot me shoot me shoot me mechanic, it's really good against guys hiding in smokes. Don't just throw your util when you see your teammates can even use it. Change playstyles. Switch between being aggressive fighting for mains to play backside with a flash lineup, from flash tp entry to lurking and getting into backlines with spawn tps. Yoru is not just a duelist, he can fill a lot of roles. You can play support flashes, you can lurk, you can initiate with your mid site flash tp for info or farm ult orbs and bso a drone. Have prepared plays. It's really good to have a bag of prepared plays you always practice and it works for you. It can be an aggressive push and one way flash, a spawn tp lineup. Try to get more and more plays like that on every map throughout your your learning. Using team and enemy utility. Keep track of your team util and especially enemy util so you can get advantage of them. Ask for omen flashes, bridge stuns, fade util. Use enemy and team smokes for easy pop flashes. Try to outplay KO bridge fade ult by playing offside and tipping over it. Yoru is a duelist. Don't be afraid to die. You are a duelist, you need to entry. You gonna die. Yoru is made to do risky but high reward plays. Just try to make probability of you dying lower with your util and out plays. If you have higher than 1 KD on Yoru, you are baiting or not using Yoru abilities. I said it. And the main tip. If you are gold plus and not really feel lost, play more instead of watching wins like this. Honestly, there is no perfect play, crosshair, a setting. To play better you need to play more, easy as that. It's all just a muscle memory. And now let's uncover some cheeky Yoru ability tricks. Use clone not as flash, instead use it as info tool. Use clone into enemy spray pre-fire. Replace your clone into default smoke place and fake a smoke push. Replace your clone behind low objects to fake a holding angle player. Make your clone go wide angle and you go close angle. 
Pre-aim close wall when flash peak. Throw flash directly under you in smoke for a perfect pop flash. Combine using clone and flash to fake a peak. Swing wide, swing early or wait one second when a flash peak do not get pre-fired. Having take retake flashes that only blights enemies helps a lot. Take flash on 1v1 wins round 100%. Uh, high flash are undodgeable because they get tunnel visioned. Turn before you TP. Jump peek and TP a corner to get last bit of info. Combine clone and TP to mask it direction or getting enemy of angle it's traveling. Jump into cover cutting angle when tipping out so enemy has no time to trade swing you. Time your TPs so you equip gun behind cover. Fake spawn TPs to waste time. Shoot before your TP to sell a fake TP. TP 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 TP. Clone and ult works 90% of the time. Shorty ult against ops and low sense players. Start ulting and faking push on one side using some util and mid ult TP to other side and help your team. Reposition ult is not a waste if you're stuck and have no TP. You can equip, drop and change weapons by pressing 1, 2, G to drop during ult. Using ult to grab spike wins a lot of rounds. So yep, yeah, this pretty much it for now. I might have missed some things I do instinctively by now. It's really hard to teach Yoru, you just need to play a lot 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 of him and have good fundamentals. I hope this video helped you with some of the aspects of learning Yoru. Like, subscribe, comment your thoughts down below. Share it with players who wants to get into Yoru grind. And with all of this, I want to announce that I'll be doing more in-depth tipped guide wits. We'll get this agent to the top. See ya.